Hi everyone, I'm really really sorry this is late and I have, do have a really good reason and I'll tell you why. Um, as most of you know that I've mentioned in some of my previous um, updates that, um, my, well, that, we're, that we're immigrating to Qatar, uh, my husband went today. So all week we've been clearing out the flat because um, the flat's also up for sale and we've been like getting his stuff out of the house, well out of the flat, we live in a flat, getting all his stuff out of the flat and packed and stuff like that. So it's just not been a very convenient time to film an update because we've just been so busy with all that stuff. So, but um, I do, I have written down um, everything from weeks 20 to 21, like if something happens in the week then I, I just write it down and I, I keep it on my iPad. Um, so it will be accurate, the only thing that will be slightly off accurate will be my belly, you'll get um, the measurement for, 20, for 21 weeks and 3 days. Yeah, 20, 21, 21 weeks and 3 days. So, um, so my symptoms for the previous week were, um, were, I had a bit of an unwell spell. Um, I had a headache, a couple of headaches actually, a couple, two headaches, um, and I'm still feeling quite tired, and I've still got the insomnia, so at night I'm still laying there thinking to myself, why am I falling asleep, I'm tired all day and then suddenly all, all I want to do is be awake. Um, my sciatica is getting better, I'm finally getting better, this, this time it lasted a lot longer than it did the last my, preg like my last pregnancy. Um, I did say I was going to show you a book that I'm, that I'm making the baby, but um, just just with the fact that um, the house is in a bit of a mess and I'm going to have to find it and stuff like that, it's in my wardrobe under a load of stuff. I'll show it next week. It's just that this week's going to be quite a long update. So I'll do it next week when I haven't got as much to talk about because I've got the scan to talk about this week as well. So um, I should definitely show you the book next week. Um, I feel like my hair gets a lot greasier. And it's been feeling like for a couple of weeks and I forgot to mention it really. But like... Sometimes I wash it on a Monday, say, just for argument's sake. I wash it on a Monday, and then um, I'll be good for the Tuesday. And then by the Wednesday, I'll, I'll feel like I need to wash it again. But where this now, when I'm pregnant, I feel like I, I need to wash it in every single day because that's how it feels. My head just feels a lot greasier. My boobs are finally less painful. <laughs> I kept saying for weeks on end they're just so painful they're not just not giving up, and now they finally are just so much better. Um, and I was saying that um, the. The I didn't really feel the baby very much and someone was saying that perhaps I have, um, is it a posterior, is it a posterior placenta? Well, um, in my notes, I looked in my, because I went for my scan, they said I have a high anterior placenta. So it's not the front and it's it's, it's not low down or anything, it's high up and at the back. Perfect. <laughs> um, and I was saying that I didn't know the um, heart rate of the baby because my midwife just wrote down like fetal heart rate heard on in my antenatal book. I didn't know, but I didn't realise that um, when I went for my last scan, although in England they don't let you listen to the heartbeat, when, when you go for scans, like, you, you just, just, just not something they do. Well, at the hospital that I go to, that I'm under, they don't, they just don't, they don't like play the heartbeat for you. But they do, li but they do check it. And I didn't realise that it was on there until the other day, like I didn't see it in my notes. But anyway, stop waffling. <laughs> The the uh, the heart rate of the baby at 13 weeks was 160 beats, bang on 160 beats per minute. So, yeah, that was that. So it's my scan. So I had my scan last Friday. I was 20 weeks and four days when I went for my scan, and um, the baby is the baby's still measuring what what they measured it at 13. When I went for my scan, I was expecting to be 12 weeks and three days, but they made me exactly 13 weeks, and the baby's still measuring. Um, on what they measured me before, like it's still measuring. So when I went, I, I would have been 20 weeks and four days. The baby's still measuring the same. Um, on here though, it doesn't say the heart rate of the baby at my 20 week scan. They, they didn't do it. But um, all the, um, like they check for head, brain, face, blah, 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 all the, you know, all the ins and outs of it. But they all were, they, they all appear normal. And, um, all the measurements of the baby, you know, like you have the chart, like you have the line, and then there's like a little bit in the middle. So that means like kind of like that means I can have like your average baby. My baby measures um, under on everything. The only one it measures bang on for is the abdominal circumference, and um, the one it measures just a tiny little bit over is the firmer length. And I'm not surprised because my son was quite a long baby, but he was a tiny baby. He was um, he was five pounds nine when he was born and he was born at 39 weeks and one day but um i'll show you like the chart i mean you're not really going to get like the best look at it really because it's on the camera but yeah you kind of get the gist of where the baby's at 
So I'll go ahead and show you the scan. Um, and as you know, that um, we wasn't going to find out the um, gender of the baby. And we, um, we we still didn't find out the gender. We, don't, we didn't want to know. But I will talk about that, actually. I was a bit annoyed because um, I wish now I said to her, like, I don't want to know, that I don't want to know the gender. But I feel like it's, it's ruined it a little bit. But then maybe I'm, maybe I'm just looking into it too much. Because the woman goes, we're talking about the, the position of the baby. And I had a feeling that the baby was laying across ways, transverse. And I said, oh, where's the baby? Then my partner asked something like, oh, no, I said, is the baby laying across? And the lady said, yeah. And my partner, my husband goes, is that all right? And I go, yeah. And he goes, what's that called? I went, Tran I think it's transverse. Isn't it? And the lady went, yeah, yeah, transverse. She went, it doesn't matter at this stage. She went, what, what way around they are? She said, um, the, only, the only time it really matters is when you get closer to delivering him or her. And I just felt like that was a bit of a, but she'd only just kind of started the scan. But I just feel like, I don't know, it sounded like she kind of corrected herself as if to say, oh, well, you know, better not because... Perhaps they're told not to say anything because people there's, there are people that don't want to know, or for the people that don't want to know. But I don't know. She was like, my, and then when I told my mum, my mum was like, "You're looking into it, Claire." Because I often say to someone's baby, "He, he, him, him," like just or some people refer to him as her. You know, I don't know. I just kind of feel like it ruined it a little bit for me. Now I feel like it's a boy. But not only not only was it that when I when she showed me the baby, I could see the baby's head, um, and like like the, the belly and everything like that and then like the leg coming up and I could have swore blind that I saw something poking up and I just thought oh you you're so out of order I didn't want to know I didn't want to see anything I looked away and I said I'm really sorry to look. I said I'm a bit scared to look because I don't want to know what I'm having and I feel like if I see something then I'm gonna she goes well look, I'm, I'm up the head end I'm, I'm up the head end look it's the head and I just felt like she was kind of like I don't know backing herself up but then it could have been the cold I don't know because I wasn't I kept looking like I didn't really want to look because it was frightening me because I really, really want to surprise this time. Then, when I got, although I'd already told her that I don't know the, the gender, she then goes and leaves loads of pictures on the screen of the baby. She, she made me walk, but the baby had turned itself round, um, so it was sitting up like it was breech kind of thing. She goes, oh, the baby won't let me do, do the last measurement. I can't remember what it was, you know, it was the leg, I can't remember. She wanted to measure something. And she goes, can you just go and have a walk around for 10 minutes? She goes, I see if you can get the baby said, like, move. So I walked around and I came back and then she was like, oh yeah, I've, I've done it now. And then she leaves all the pictures on the, on the screen. And there's a picture, unless I'm just looking into it, there's a picture of the baby, and it's got like, I can see its leg, like I can see like the bum, the baby's bum, like I can't even do it, like, the, I can see like the baby's, like but, but the baby's bum, I'll do it at your angle, the baby's bum, then the leg coming up, and the knee at the top, and then like, you know sometimes like, depending on what angle they are at, you can see like through the baby kind of thing, and I saw like a circle, and I thought,